But in order for everybody to enjoy it, we all need to be quiet. Okay? We need to pay attention and listen so that the person sitting next to us can hear. Okay? So no talking and no shushing each other either. Okay? You don't need any of that. Okay? So here we go. Our highly anticipated drama. Well, aren't you going to take one? 
already had breakfast. Besides, I don't eat that stuff anymore. And you shouldn't either. I know. It's not healthy. Well, I have things to do, and I'm sure you do too. All right. Wait, wait, Margaret, before you leave. What? I, uh, I have something I, I need to tell you. Well, what is it? I'm, uh, I'm leaving. Leaving? What do you mean leaving? You just got here. No, I mean, I, I'm quitting. Quitting? What are you talking about? You can't quit. I can't. Why not? Because this is a family business. Our family business. Your last name is still Wonder, isn't it? Now get to work. No, really, I mean it. I, I've made up my mind. You want more money, is that it? No, that has nothing to do with it. More vacation? You already have a whole week. That's mm -hmm. not it either. Well then what is it? I don't understand. Why on earth would you want to leave Wonder Crush? Where else are you going to find such a great position? The Arctic Circle. What? Is that some kind of a joke? I really don't have time for this. No, I'm totally serious. I'm leaving this high-stress, high-tech lifestyle and going to the Arctic to build myself a cabin in the wilderness. All I have to say is, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. What do you know about living in the Arctic? I know a little. Well, little, sister. A little isn't going to be enough. But it's your life. Do what you want. Meanwhile, I have a company to run. Excuse me. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? I should have done flowers instead of donuts. Here, you want these? Sure. We used to get along so well when we were kids, but for some reason, we don't anymore. We're more like strangers now. It's so sad when sisters or brothers don't get along. They should be lifelong <coughs> friends, not enemies. But that's pretty much how they parted. Diana put in her two-week notice, during which she nor her sister made any effort to patch things up. Then, without even saying goodbye, she was off to northern Alaska. I have left my briefcase. So that's where she went, huh? Northern Alaska? Yep, north of the Arctic Circle. Accessible only by bush plane and 100 miles from your nearest neighbor. I don't understand her. I mean, seriously, the Arctic Circle? And to go so unprepared, it's crazy. She's crazy! Don't let her fool you, though. She knows more than just a little about living in the Arctic. Does she now? What she didn't tell you is that for the last two years, She's been carefully preparing herself, so she knows exactly what to expect. Just you watch. Within 30 days, she'll come crawling back here begging for her old job again. Mark my words. Oh, that reminds me. Here is her contact information. My time is extremely valuable. There's no way I'm going to sit around writing her letters all day just to keep her company. But how about a Christmas card? After all, she is your sister. Well, maybe, maybe a Christmas card, but that's it. She also asked me to give this to you. She found it while she was cleaning out her condom. Father's Bible? It looks worn out. Your father must have read it a lot. Every day. Well, that's great. You know, a famous preacher once said, a Bible that's worn out usually belongs to someone who's not falling apart. I imagine your father was a good man. Yes, yes, he was. Well, I'm sure you'll treasure that. I guess so, but I'm not much of a Bible reader. My father and I didn't have much in common that way. Aw, so sorry to hear that. Why? I have my job, it keeps me busy. I have plenty to do. Yeah, but someday you're going to regret that you didn't take the Bible as seriously as your father did. You think so? I don't think so. I know so. 
nothing is more important than God's word. Hmm. Say, are those really blueberry donuts? Yep, and they're amazing. Want one? No, I have work to do. Well, she obviously has her priorities messed up. A job is no substitute for a relationship with God. Nothing is. We should all be following her father's example and spend time reading our Bible every day. Now, as we fast forward a couple years, we find Diana happily situated in northern Alaska with a sturdy, well-equipped log cabin that I built all by myself. Her dream is now a reality, and so far, she's passed the test. The test of whether she has what it takes to live in such a harsh and unforgiving wilderness, all alone. Alone, except for my dogs, and the occasional bush pilot visit. Huh. And speaking of bush pilots, here she comes now. Bush pilots are special people. Without them, your life in the Arctic would be a lot more difficult. I'd say impossible. They're like a lifeline to civilization. A lifeline to civilization? I like that. Not only do bush pilots carry people around, they also deliver food and supplies. And like the Pony Express, they carry the mail too. Yoo-hoo, Miss Wonder! Anybody home? Yes, I'm here. This is Dusty. She's with Ace Air Service. Yup, flying safely for over 50 years. Praise the Lord. She says that because flying in northern Alaska can be risky. That's mostly because of the weather, which can change in the blink of an eye. True. And the fact that we have to land on rivers, glaciers, and sandbars probably doesn't help much either. You know, it's funny, but in the business we say, it was a good landing, if you lived through it. Oh, really? Yeah, but the adventure is so worth it. Hey, looks like you've got a couple big ones there. Yeah, not bad. So what do you have for me? Oh, just the grocery items you asked for and a gift. Oh yeah! Well come on, let's go! 